Dustin's my oldest child, and it was actually a daycare provider who came up and said, you know, there are things about your son which are not typical. He was diagnosed with pervasive developmental delay not otherwise specified. When Justin aged out of the school system, when he turned 22, my goal for Justin was to have a meaningful thing to do during the day. Um, but the, some of the things that he was doing were not as meaningful for him. And so at the end of the day, he still had a lot of sort of nervous and not always very happy energy. He started going to ServiceNet and seeing a therapist there, and it was his therapist who suggested Prospect Meadow Farm as something that Justin could do. Before the farm, I was working a few dead-end jobs just trying to make ends meet, and now I'm a professional farmer. We grew up in a small town and there are farms all around us, and growing up, one of the things that children did was to just go and visit the farm, so going to visit the cows and sitting on the tractors. And I've read a lot of books about farming. Well, I thought of working on one. Never had the opportunity until this came along. We grow vegetables. We have over 1,500 shiitake mushroom logs, and uh, we have hundreds of animals on the farm. You drill a hole, you put in some mushroom spores, and you see them growing, and you pick them, and you eat them. His passion is getting eggs from the chickens. Then those eggs are brought to market, and people in the valley are eating them. Yeah, I used to be afraid of the chickens. Justin, as a little boy, it was difficult for him to go to the beach because he was afraid of the seagulls and he was afraid of getting pecked by the birds. I just decided one day I'm going to conquer my fear and just roll with it. And to see him just walk in among, must be hundreds of chickens, um, and reaching under chickens and taking out the eggs, um, I would have never imagined. But we've actually seen the farm change people's lives. It's the connection to the soil and then the connections with the animals, knowing that an animal needs you to bring them the feed every day, needs you to bring them the water. I feel like everyone on the staff at Prospect Meadow Farms is willing to meet Justin where he is and help him develop the skills that he needs. Here at ServiceNet, we do an individualized assessment of need for each person that comes to us. We build on people's strengths and try to help them get more in touch with ways in which they could move further ahead in their lives. He just feels really fulfilled at the end of the day. Uh, he's been outside, he's been around nice people who, who treat him kindly, and because he feels better about himself, he's more fun to be around at home. He's calmer at home. I think sometimes those of us who have regular jobs and who've always worked, we forget how important that is to our identity and to our sense of value, our sense of self-worth. The vocational services that we have on the farm uh, are training people for real work. I'm sorry, I got a little emotional. I'm just really happy. It was, it was, it was great. When I got my first paycheck, it was great. In Justin's style, after we put the check in the bank, and he looked at me, he said, I'll take you out for dinner. I'm not the most religious person, but I felt like I've been touched by God. Because I never thought I'd come this far and look at me now. When Justin says grace before dinner, he's been thankful for the food and he's been thankful for this job. And it's been a great thing for Justin and it's just been a great thing for our whole family.